Using next generation sequencing for MOD assessment, in my opinion, is absolutely the way to go in, in this time of age. Uh, I think the older technologies with flow cytometry, although there are attempts trying to call it next generation flow and other uh, attempts to tweak it, it is still an old technology, it has a lot of limitations. So the next generation sequencing, I think, is a, is a more robust and reproducible platform. And importantly, it has at least 10 times higher sensitivity and than the best flow cytometry set up in the best lab for flow cytometry. There are still challenges with sequencing, although it is a better technology, there is no doubt. So challenges include that you need to have a baseline sample in order to know what you are looking for after you have delivered treatment. So uh, the clinicians, they need to remember to ideally do an aspirate from the bone marrow, if you're talking about multiple myeloma patients, and send that for characterization uh, before starting therapy. If that was not done, uh, you can do it after one or even a few cycles, as long as there are a lot of residual disease cells. But if you wait for, let's say, four or five cycles, and the patient may be in complete remission, you no longer have the opportunity. If you still forgot to do it, uh, as long as you did a clot uh, section uh, of the bone marrow uh, at diagnosis, meaning that you did an aspirate and you, you pushed out uh, cells from the marrow and put them in paraffin, uh, now you can use those for clot sections. And the difference between those cells and the regular core biopsy is that those cells have not undergone decalcification. So you can use that too. Those are probably the key problems together with uh, the fact that there is a turnaround time of about the week.